Can this $40 camera overtake the warhorse that is the Logitech C920? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out if the Tenvis TW888 can do that and possibly even more. We're going into a full dive to see if this camera is worth your 40 bucks, so let's go. What's up all you awesome streamers? Wild for Games here helping you make your content bigger and better. If this is your first time here and need help with tips, tricks, how-tos, or even product reviews like in this video right here, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. It's no surprise that web cameras are way overpriced, so finding something that comes in at only 40 USD is really enticing. But does this Tenvis TW888 web camera really meet all the standards for streaming and content creation, or is it just your basic everyday office Zoom go-to-meeting camera? Well, let's take a look at what it can do. The TW888 web camera from Tenvis is a 1080p 30 frames per second web camera. It utilizes over two megapixel CMOS image sensor, has a nice plug and play unit, so the minute you plug it in, it's ready to use for any kind of content creation or streaming needs out there. The Tenvis web camera allows for versatile placement due to the fact that it has 360 degree rotation on the base of the camera, as well as giving you the ability to tilt the camera down and up. So you can pretty much make it work for any situation you have in your studio. Likewise, if you have any type of boom arm that can accept the threaded bolt end, you can mount it to that as well. And of course, like we said, the camera runs in right around 40 USD on Amazon. Now these specs are all good and all, but how does the camera actually work and does it look good? So let's take a look. And here you go. This is how I look on the Tenvis TW888 web camera. And what do I think? I think it looks pretty bad. I'm not a fan of this color visual quality at all. I spent a lot of time trying to get the colors to look true. However, when you have to color grade this camera, I can never seem it to get to a neutral or white balance color. It always seems to add too much magenta or too much green or too much blue or too much orange. I can never find the sweet spot, which makes me feel like the image sensor is probably not that great of quality. Likewise, the first thing you probably noticed also was the bowing effect, which creates that fisheye look. Now that is very natural when it comes to a wide angle lens. Remember, this is 120 degrees, which is actually really impressive for a web camera, which could be perfect for things like video conferencing if you have a giant group of people. So that could be a plus for you. However, if you're going to use it for streaming or school needs or content creation, having all this extra space that bows out looks bad and is actually not pleasing to the eye. Now that calls into question, well, wow, why don't you just zoom in and crop it out? Guess what? I can't get to work on this camera. That's right. I can't get the zoom feature to work within it. So that's another negative for this camera. And trust me, I tried a bunch, doesn't want to seem to work, but maybe that's just me. Now, is there anything good about this camera? Yeah, you know, I do think it works decently in low light situations. However, if you notice in the background here, you see it starts to introduce a lot of artifacts and gain, which start dancing around in the background, which to my eye, again, is annoying. Now, if you are interested in how this microphone sounds, which I'm never a big fan of, here is how I sound on the Tenvis TW888 microphone. Currently, I'm about, give or take, two, two and a half feet away from the web camera and the microphone. So this is how I sound if you are interested in it. But even if I sound bad, which I always do on a web camera because they're not really meant for that, don't hold that against it. I always recommend buying an additional microphone so that way you have good clarity of sound. Now back to my normal voice. What do I think about the Tenvis TW888 web camera? I think it's a solid pass. Do not buy this camera if you're a streamer or content creator. I do think it's a decent camera if you need it for Zoom, go to meetings. If you're out there and you're learning and you're doing distant learning with education, yeah, this camera is fine for your day-to-day -day needs. Now you need to remember, this camera right here is only 40 USD, which at the moment is one of the cheaper cameras that I can find. So this might be a great camera for you to jump into, but this is literally a starter camera, literally a budget camera. Anything beyond that, I think it's kind of trash. I think you can find something better, or I would actually recommend saving and paying up for a better camera out there. 
now for instance we talked about how it can stack up against the c920 so here's how that image currently looks compared to this one Sadly, the Tenvis TW888, it fails on all fronts. Unless you're doing distant learning, go to meetings, or you need it for work, that's the only situation I would recommend it. Otherwise, your 40 bucks is better spent somewhere else. Now, if you're looking for an awesome camera and you do have some extra money burning a hole in your pocket and you wanna pay up, I really recommend taking a look at the Logitech Brio. That is an awesome web camera. So awesome, I even did a video of it right over here that I recommend you check out right now because that is a fantastic web camera that's gonna give you that visual eye candy you've been looking for. My name is Wild for Games, helping you become bigger and better with your streaming and content creation needs. And until next time, I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video coming out real soon. Take care, and of course, peace!